today we have a dangerous, very dangerous show because my guest is in a movie that is dangerous. In fact, it's called Danger One. That's it. And here he is, James Jurdy. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything? <laughs> so what are we making here? Oh, well, your mom has this spinach pasta ravioli. Uh -huh. But One a of lot of childhood people... favorites. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to make something using some of the ingredients, but mm -hmm. just faster. Okay. Because a lot of people don't really want to make ravioli at I home. Know. I mean, it would I be a whole it. day. I know I don't. I and just eat it. we're too hungry. <laughs> right, right. I'm, I'm yes. excited. Let's go. Okay, so... Here are some of the things that we're going to start with. This is garlic, of course. Garlic is really important. The thing about garlic is that I've already, I've already chopped it up. If you leave it out at least 10 minutes before you use it, there's a component in garlic called allicin, and it's antioxidants. So the best way to get more allicin is to chop it up and leave it for 10 minutes before you cook it. So I'm gonna cook it in olive oil and we're going to put it on the stove here. Can I turn this on? Is that right? Can I do that? Does that help with uh, not getting garlic breath? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to give it to your friends so that everybody has garlic breath. Oh, well, that makes sense. Together. <laughs> so olive oil is really healthy. It's a, you know, it's a very healthy oil. So right. I try to use it a lot. So we're just going to brown this. Thank you. Do you want to just... So I put about three cloves or four. Depends on the size. Okay. And we're just gonna brown that a little bit. Okay. And kale. Ooh, this kale's is my going favorite. to be kale. So on each stalk of kale, there's like a spine, and this spine is not very good to eat. So we're just gonna chop this off. Oh, I forgot to ask. Pounds. Okay, and then we're going to just add this in little chunks. So while that's boiling, we don't want to eat this part, it's just hard. And we can either chop this up like this, because we're going to put this in the, the pasta. And kale is so good. Anything with the dark leafy greens has a lot of antioxidants as well. And so Sometimes people think the salad is the only way to use it. But, did Ooh, you know, if you massage... Look at that. That is boiling right there. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> so now we're going to throw the greens in. And sometimes, you know, you well, can This is different than the way I've seen it made, actually, because I've never actually seen the greens in the pot. Oh, this yeah. is going to make it... Yeah, this is, this is a whole new creation you got here, Justin. And then, I've got, <laughs> then I have some spinach, so I'm going to put a little spinach in it too. This is in honor of your mother oh, and her recipe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the spinach is going to go in front of And you want to stir this a little bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, this is another treat. We're going to use lemons. So I'm going to cut this lemon, and I have a little lemon juicer, so this is so cool. You go like this, and then it gets all the lemon rind. That's like a technologically advanced lemon juicer. I've never seen one of those. I got this in yeah. Italy. I remember the old days when you just had to squeeze the lemon. And then also, I have this. I got this from Denmark. Oh, wow. <laughs> all my friends are all international. International cookware. And it helps get the zest. The zest has all the um, flavor and a lot of the lemon oil on it. So this makes a fine grate. So I'm going to use that too. How's that coming? That's, I mean, it looks good. A little bit more. A little bit more, all right. A little bit more. Keep stirring. And... I have different cheeses because I think the more flavor comes from different. And also, what kind I of cheese put a bit of butter. Using? Parmesan Reggiano. Okay. Basically, it's what about different. Feta? Things. Feta wouldn't work here? 
It would if I had it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I add a little butter because that gives it a go. nice flavor. All right. And if you mix the butter with the olive oil, then it won't burn so much. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then here's another thing. This is so good. This is either walnuts. This is going to give it a crunch, and you're going to toast them a little bit. So stir that up. Cool. And it adds protein. Put everything on in here. <laughs> protein as well. So let's cut another little piece of this. I didn't cut it as well. I just want to get the zest from this. You're going to use about two tablespoons of lemon, and it's just going to give it a little, I like to say, flavor. And the big good thing about this is it takes the seeds out. How's that looking? Yeah, I mean, it's looking good so far. Okay, let's add some Parmesan. Oh, well, you're pouring everything on top of here. I've never seen it done this way. This is. A whole oh, new that was world. A bit much. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. There we go. Let me just put that back up. Put this back up. That was a bit much. <laughs> but that's what makes it fun, well, right? There you go. But I do like a lot of cheese anyway. Yeah, that's good. We'll mix that in. That's good. Okay. You might need a little more spinach. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Because Maybe some more walnuts as well. When you cooked it down. The spinach goes, you know, because we're going to make quite a bit, a whole pound of pasta. Wow, that is a lot of pasta. Well, I'm sure that all the people eat for this <laughs> we're going to eat it. There you go. Okay, that's good. How am I doing? Is that good enough? Good. All right, okay. I'll leave it to you. Actually, once it's good, then you can just let the residual heat turn it on. Now I've already made, I have three kinds of pasta here. We have spinach pasta, we have whole wheat pasta, and we have the regular pasta. But I thought the spinach pasta with the spinach would just be more nutritious. Right. And healthier. So, yes. And so we're going to put it on this, and it, it's already mm -hmm. cooked. When you make your um, spinach or any pasta, you put the salt in the water beforehand, and it actually doesn't affect your sodium intake as much as if you put it on later. Oh, that's interesting. But it makes it more flavorful because if you put it on at the front, then it just, I don't know, it doesn't really soak in and it isn't as um, healthful. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, this is almost done. So let me just get the juice. I'm going to pour that inside. What is that little piece called? Is that like a, a special little lemon squeezer? Or is there yes. something to it? Isn't it cool? <laughs> yeah. I love I've this. never seen one of those before. And then now I got the zest should be in here, so I just push that out and add that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it. Ready? All right. Let's do it. Let me get a tongue. Could you hand the plate over there? Oh, sure. There and then I just wanted to show you about draining the pasta. Instead of using a um, oh, wow. instead of using a strainer, if you use this, it won't get stuck in a strainer. You know how the pasta gets stuck in a strainer and uh -huh. then it ruins <laughs> and gets smashed. So this is a better way to drain it. So okay. I also put cold water on it so it wouldn't overcook. Okay. Because I really don't like. Soggy pasta. <laughs> okay, let's just put some. In. So this is what we have. We've got the spinach and the walnuts, and they're kind of toasted by being here. And then you you could toss these too, but that will just. Right. Get a fork. What? All of this. There you go. Not, not too much. There you go. That's good. <laughs> oh, and I was going to say, if you want to add more protein, there's other choices. You can add cottage cheese. You can add eggs, hard-boiled eggs, or you could put tomato. Do you want to put a little tomato on it? Yeah, we I could. Think that would be good. When I cut tomatoes, I use a serrated knife rather than a dull knife mm. because it won't ruin the cells. Look at the difference. So I'm just going to do this really quickly. And it also gives it nice color. Ooh, 
Oh shit, that was a pretty tight slice there. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing my bonnet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just put a little of this on top. Now that looks good. And it's healthy. It is. Extremely healthy. There's a fork in that you. drawer over there if you would like to grab. Oh, there we go. I'll get two. Okay. Both of them. Honor everybody. Got the weapons in hand right here. Awesome. All right. Let's, Let's do the taste test. Do it. You ready? On three. One, One two, two, three. three. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Real good. Good job. You too. I'm gonna be proud. Nicely done. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for being on my show, and be sure and watch Danger One. September 14th, coming out in theaters. This is James Dirty, my special guest for Danger. <laughs> so, till next time, thanks for joining us on Cooking, Cooking in with, with Joyce Lynn. Cooking in with Joyce Lynn. Got it. special guest and he's dangerous it's James Jurdy he has a movie out called Danger One <laughs> so James tell us a little bit about the film well it's an action thriller with a lot of comedy that's about a couple paramedics who go on a 911 call find a dead body and a million dollars on it they decide to keep the money and go on the run all night and they don't have one second to breathe or to eat so thank God we got some food here definitely have to eat all the time so look for James on my next episode of Cooking In with Joyce Lynn.